Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, we knocked out a eight box inner case break. Pick your team number one of the brand new 2021-22 Panini Revolution Basketball. All card ship, there's so many different parallels here. The Astro, Groove, Fractal, and then the in numbered impact, Cosmic, 75th anniversary, Sunburst, Cubic, Lava, those Lavas are great, and the Super Short Print Galactic. A lot of great stuff in here. Not every box has an auto, so that actually makes the autographs uh, pretty special as well if you if you get a nice one. There's the master case right here. Big thanks to this group for picking their teams. And congrats again to the people who won their teams as well. That means you have a little rooftop next to your name. If you have double rooftops next to your name like Jordan does, that means he won an extra spot in the filler and then won a team. So that extra spot definitely helped out. Okay, let's pop this open. So here it is, big master case of Revolution. Eight boxes per inner, two inners per case. Let's see which inner we're gonna do. Is there anybody that's in this break watching live right now? I don't know if anybody's actually here for this break. All right, we got one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Six. Right side, so this left side we will save for next. Oh, David's here, nice. Good, as long as I have at least one person watching live that's in this break, I'm happy with that, that's fine. I'll, I'll play to David. All right, that's Pick Your Team 2. That's already in the store. For tonight only, I think you can get 15% off. By tomorrow, it won't be there. Pick Your Team 2 is down to eight. At least lock in the good price. Pop these guys open. This is one of those breaks that time wise, it takes a while. You know, like this is like a 40, 45 minute break, but it doesn't feel like it's that long, you know, which is good. I think there's just a lot of, uh, a lot of eye candy here. So here's the list once again. So David, who do you have? Who do you have in this? So you were debating between Revolution and NT. Did Revolution? You got Nets, Timberwolves, Magic. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe some Jalen Jalen Suggs. So there's some things to look forward to, plus whatever other surprises are in here. Any of these teams could have like a galactic parallel or something like that. Yeah, David likes his teams. It's a good, good draw. Good draw. Bucks close out Bulls earlier today. Uh, turn their attention to the Celtics. I feel like that's gonna be a good series. Does anyone have a feel on that series? Bucks, Celtics. Bucks with a with a gentleman sweep of the, the Bulls, a 4-1. Celtics with just a just a straight up 4-0 four, four oh, uh, sweep of the Nets. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because 
Giannis is playing well, as usual. They've got a good team around him, even without maybe they're going to miss Middleton. But Jason Tatum, that rest of that team playing well, and great defense on that team. There's Jordan Poole, Astro Parallel. Remember, all cards ship. There's John Morant, Groove. What a, what a dunk that guy had the other day. And we got that's number. That's John Collins, Cosmic, 20 out of 99. That's for Atlanta. That's for Adam Richards. We got Jared Allen, Fractal. Shockwave, Davion Mitchell. That's, that's a rookie. It's James Bonite, Astro Parallel for Charlotte. We got Moses Moody for the Warriors. Groove Parallel. We have the bigger names here. What about Seth Curry, Astro, Nets Edition. There's Kyrie Fractal. So good start. Does it look busy this year? John is saying Revolution looks so busy this year. I think they did add like a, I think they did add like a, another insert or two, but I think it looks about the same. Yeah, David thinks the Celtics are gonna win. That the Celtics, that's the defense has been their calling card. That's if they can. You know, that's the gold cliche, defense wins championships, right? So if they can neutralize Giannis. You know, Celtics can make it a series. That Celtics goal could go a long way. And I don't know, oh, the Warriors will face the winner of the Memphis the winner of the Memphis Minnesota series. So today's Wednesday. Tomorrow, Philadelphia at Toronto. Who does everyone have there? Philly leads the series 3 2. But Joel Embiid has a, has a banged up thumb, and Scotty Barnes is back for Toronto. Keon Johnson Fractal. Michael Porter Jr. Galactic. Denver. Woon Lim. With the Denver Nuggets gets the Galactic Michael Porter Jr. Could use a healthy Michael Porter Jr. next year. Is Galactic one per inner case or is it one per master case? Maybe one per inner. Or maybe maybe not. Maybe it's even shorter than that but there you go there's Miles Bridges Astro Miles Bridges Fractal Tyrese Maxey Fractal that's Astro as well more Astro Dame Damian Lillard Groove, Miles Turner, and a Dosunmu right here. David says David has Philly. David has Philly. I think they got to be able to pull that off, right? But if it's if it goes 3-3, three, three, if Toronto wins this one, it's at Toronto. So they lose, don't they lose Matisse Teibel in Toronto? Man, there's going to be a lot of questions about Doc Rivers if... And they got Scotty, ba Scotty Barnes back and a... Oh, I think that's going to be close, David. Rye saying Memphis, Minnesota series has been a banger. It has. That has been a very... As a neutral fan, that has been very enjoyable. It's really fun to watch Carl Anthony Towns and, and John Morant and Anthony Edwards run around out there. 
Phoenix at New Orleans, game six. Phoenix leads 3-2. Phoenix closes this out, right? They may have a chance at Devin Booker coming back in game six, but I think even without Booker, I think Phoenix closes this out. What about Dallas at Utah? David thinks Memphis might be a better matchup for the Warriors. Right, because that sort of they might have a problem with the with the size of a Minnesota if Minnesota advances, right? There's Jalen Green, Astro. There's John Morant, Astro. There's uh, DeMar DeRozan. The guy, this guy was triple teamed all night, groove parallel. Jalen Green, Astros Parallel. Astro Parallel. That kind of trips me up. Park with that one. Houston Rockets, Astro Parallel. And here's a nice Tyrese Maxey. 42 out of 149. Impact. It's a nice one, too. That'll be for. Who's got. Sixers. Jordan Ashton with the Sixers. And we got a Triple J. And a 75th anniversary. 22 out of 75. Grizzlies playing some good team basketball. And then with... Ooh, look at that parallel right there. That looks cool, right? And then the ex they got that exclamation point in John Moran. It's a pretty well-constructed team. Jalen Green die cut. And then Nikola Jokic, fractal. Did his best. Did his best. I agree, right? I think David B and I were just talking about that. Bucks and Celtics are definitely going to be a fun series to watch. I want to see seven games of that. <laughs> Dallas at Utah. Does Dallas take care of business in Utah? I feel like Utah, did they play better? They play a lot better at home, don't they? We got three games tomorrow, plus the NFL draft. So this might be a three screen day. One screen for the draft, NFL draft. One screen for the basketball playoff games. One screen for Jaspies. So prepare. Laptop, iPad, phone, TV, something like that. Yeah, Dallas finishes it. There's liftoff LeBron James for the Lakers. Roger with my Lakers. Lakers gonna have to figure out a lot of things. A lot of things. There's Vortex, Franz Wagner. Groove, DeAndre Ayton. And a nice Vortex, Steph Curry, Cubic? Cubic, 28 out of 50. Nice one for the Warriors. Uh, Suvana. With that one, there's Terry Rozier, Fractal. Franz Wagner, Astro. For Orlando, that's going to be for David. We got Sandro Mamukela Shavili, Groove.
think that's how you say that. What about some postmortems? Uh, what does Chicago have to do next year to maybe go a little deeper in the playoffs, take it to the next level? I know there's. I know people like to say health is not an excuse, but I think health kind of, kind of got him a little bit. No, no Lonzo Ball, no Alex Caruso. So then you can have, you can have teams triple team. DeMar DeRozan, and then Curtains. Yeah, get and stay healthy, right? David agrees. What could they, they could add some pieces, right? If Kobe White kind of returns to sort of rookie year Kobe White, I think that would be, that would be like a trade for a new player. That's what it would feel like. You know, I mean, Chicago, people, people like Chicago. I feel like that's a free agent destination, right? So maybe they can get get a get some free maybe a little depth, little free agents. Probably make something like that work. Have a good draft. I don't know what their draft status is, but but a good draft. Good free agent window. And then health, yeah. There's Davion Mitchell, rookie groove for the Kings. That'll be for Eric. Right. I was going to say, Patrick Williams only just came back in like March or something, late March, April maybe. So there, that's for you, David. Franz Wagner, there's Davion Mitchell, groove for the Sacramento Kings, Eric Leal. Right, so getting Patrick Williams back, if they get him for a good chunk of the season. There's a nice Scotty Barnes shockwave. It's for Toronto. That'll be for Jordan. Um, yeah, Patrick Williams could be like a could basically be like a new addition to the team if he can play a good chunk of the season. There's Fractal Damian Lillard, Zion liftoff. Jeremiah Robinson Earl Astro. Bobby Portis Astro. Anthony Edwards, second year Anthony Edwards groove parallel. There's a Cade Cunningham. And a Moses Moody autograph. Yeah, the autographs are fewer and few and far between. They're not one per box, as some of you may remember from previous years of Revolution. Golden State Warriors, Suvana with that one. Kate Cunningham, Detroit, that's for Andrew Richards. Base rookie card. And who do we have here? An impact, Derek Rose, 82 out of 149. And I guess the same post-mortem for Denver, right? I mean, they, they were without the services. They had Jamal Murray. Could that have could that have been a difference maker in this series with the way with the way Jokic has been playing? I mean, Jokic single handedly almost beat the Warriors tonight. But they they need a Jamal Murray. They need a healthy Jamal Murray and a healthy Michael Porter Jr. Can you imagine? Think about that team. Yeah, Chris thinking Denver is all health, right? Can you imagine if uh, if Nikola Jokic had a Jamal Murray and a healthy Michael Porter Jr. out of him? Who are you? I mean, you can't really double team Nikola Jokic, and then you still have Aaron Gordon out there, and then you just then you just mix in like a little a little. Uh, a little Will Barton here and there, you know, and then Bones Highland maybe just in there off the bench, and then, then all of a sudden that's a pretty deep team. I know, yeah, John, MPJ barely plays. He's barely healthy. 
It's a problem. I don't know if he's ever going to be healthy, so maybe they maybe they figure something else out. But Brandon Boston Jr. Fractal. Got Trey Murphy the third Astro. We got another Cade Cunningham base. I'd like to see a parallel here. What other teams were knocked out? Yeah, Bone's a pleasant surprise, right? Oh, what do you do with what does my what does uh, Atlanta do? Miami beat the Atlanta Hawks four one. I feel like that's a team that was healthy. That just maybe underperformed all season long. What's going on there? What's going on with the ATL? A nice John Morant groove. I feel like uh, I feel like Trey Young really raised his stock last playoffs. But now his stock may have fallen this playoff, this playoff run in this season. Oh. Trey Young was, uh, his, his ears were burning. Oh, we'll get to the next. <laughs> 12 out of 100. Relied too much on Trey, John's saying, and he got locked down in the play. This is still nice, though, Adam Richards. Last spot mojo. Fractal Trey Young autograph, 12 out of 100. Hopefully he bounces back. That pay, that team looks good on paper. I, I'm looking at Trey Young, Kevin Huter, DeAndre Hunter, John Collins, Gallinari, a big guy like Okongwu. They, they were all pretty much healthy for the most part. Here's a nice 75th anniversary, Chris Middleton, 5 out of 75. I like how that parallel looks right there in the light. <laughs> I don't know. There, there's and there's there's Bones Highland right there. I feel like there's just there's just like one. Ooh, nice Evan Mobley rookie groove for Cody Cleveland. This is for you. Nice. So yeah, I don't know. I just feel like there's Steph Curry, Astro. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Hawks just have to retool and just just work on work on things. Try to get some people out there. What about uh? What about the Nets? There's Kevin Durant. That's a good segue. I mean, the Nets are like Lakers East, right? You know, they try to build a super team. Guys are unavailable. Guys are un underperforming. Except I guess the Nets were able to trade James Harden. My Lakers were unable to trade Westbrook. But it seems like... It seems like Laker, Lakers and... You know, Lake, Lakers and uh, the Nets pretty much had... I guess, except for the Nets actually made the playoffs. So that's, that's a difference, but... But I think I think if the Lakers got to the playoffs, they probably would have been swept by whatever team they played too. And if the way they limped into the playoffs, if they limped into the playoffs. But Nets, what do the Nets do? And David's thinking maybe not sure what the Hawks do, but they had the same team as last year, and the East was just just better. This that's true. Competition was better. Yeah, they got to figure it out in the off season. The Atlanta Hawks. Nets have to figure it out too. It is Ben Simmons part of that team? What kind of part? I mean, he's got to be, right? All right, let's just call this a lost season for Ben Simmons, but he's got to be there every early non non mandatory training camp. He's got to be at the facility all summer long. He's got to he's got to be at every early camp. Maybe even play summer league. I don't know if I don't know if what the rules are about that, but. There's Corey Kispert groove. But I feel like he's just got to... 
he's got to just rebuild a lot of a lot of will, goodwill from from fans. I mean, maybe having a healthy Joe Harris is going to help. Here's Sixers edition of James Harden Fractal. You'll notice that a lot of the a lot of the cards here. If we run to a Tyrese Halliburton, he's in his Pacers gear. Um, I think we saw Seth Curry in his uh, Nets gear. So it's a little bit of an update here as well. It's Terry Rozier groove. And there's Luca Garza Astro. There's Westbrook, Astro, rookie revolution, Franz Wagner for Jalen Brown. He's playing well. Yeah, ultimately, the Nets are a little too full of drama, John's saying. They've got to figure that out. Same with my, my Lakers. Got a lot of things to figure out, too. And we got Corey Kispert and an impact behind him. Anthony Edwards' impact. So rookie auto Corey Kispert going to Matt Daniels and the Washington Wizards. Bought that team straight up. Top loader dust in there. And there's Anthony Edwards, 52 out of 149. Second year Anthony Edwards going to David Baker and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, John wanted me to talk about Cleveland. I, li I like that Cleveland team. I think they're, they're probably going to have a hard time getting free agents out to Cleveland. I don't know what the free agent sort of market looks like. But I like that team. Darius Garland, Colin Sexton, fun to watch. Evan Mobley, what a great year he had. I'm a big fan of Jared Allen. You know, Karis LeVert on that team too. Karis LeVert's pretty solid. Lori Markinen. I like Laurie Markkinen. If he can turn back the clock to maybe rookier Laurie Markkinen, that would be pretty good. So they've got some players there. I feel like they try to add what you can add in free agency. You know, just upgrade whatever you can. Have another good draft. And a little more experience under their belts. That could be a, that could be a really fun team to watch in the East. Aside from, I don't know how many superstars are going to be. I mean, unless ownership and front office do a great job and lure whatever free agents available here, lure a big free agent or two out there, that'd be awesome. But, but I think they've got to count on, and I think, I think Cleveland likes that sort of challenge. I think Darius Garland, Colin Sexton like that challenge. They want to develop into their own superstars. They don't have to get superstars. Let's develop ourselves. A lot of people starting to talk about this year is the is the era. Is the year of the super team over? Look at all the look at the failure of the Lakers season. Look at the failure of the Nets season. You know. But meanwhile, you look at kind of teams that play like a team, like the Memphis Grizzlies, for example. You know, look at the teams that play like teams and have maybe gelled together for a little bit. Maybe you just can't throw a bunch of people together, throw superstars together, and just make it work. Davion Mitchell for the Kings. DeAndre, here's another another team right here. The Suns. Scotty Barnes. That's a team too. Jalen Green, Astro, Josh Giddy, rookie card. LeBron James as well. Nice. It's a good good run of cards here. Just because the autos are fewer and far between. It makes these uh, these cards just have a little extra, a little extra value, a little extra juice here. Especially if you see parallels like this, Jalen Green, Josh Giddy. That's for John. Josh Giddy base rookie card, Jalen Green Astro for the Rockets. That's for that's for Park. And rookie Revolution Scotty Barnes. That's a team where people like once Kawhi left, they're like, that's it, Raptors are done. 
But no, good coaching. The emergence of guys like Scotty Barnes. Good drafting. Van Vliet, Siakam. Solid team, great coaching. And there you go. Toronto Raptors are looking like a perennial top half of the, you know, top half of the conference kind of team. P.J. Washington Jr. is our final hit, plus a numbered card coming up. I think his teammate as well. P.J. Washington Jr. Brian Watford and the Charlotte Hornets. There you go, Brian. Kind of a solid team here, too. They need to play a little, little defense, though. There's Jalen Green Vortex insert. There is a Montrez Harrell, 75th anniversary, 75 out of 75. These 75th anniversary parallels look, look pretty sharp, kind of a mosaic-y look in the background, right? And there's Luka Doncic. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty nice break. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. A uh, quick little recap here. So some really nice stuff. And a lot of other parallel. And remember, all card ships. So maybe I, I, I may have missed, you know, some key cards here and there. But all of those, but all card ships. So you'll get everything. Um, do I have to do anything? No randomizers or anything like that? No, nice clean break. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Pick Your Team 1, Revolution 1, first inner case from a master case. Next one's in the store. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I'll see you next time for the next break. Thanks for chatting with me. Bye-bye.